Hi, today I want to discuss an innovative partnership between Intel Security and VMware that provides an immune system against malware in your virtual environment. Intel Security Move, along with VMware NSX, provides an integrated security solution that protects your systems from the network layer down to your host layer. Let's dive in to see how your endpoint guest systems are protected in an optimized and efficient way. This slide provides a high-level overview of our demonstration today. We have a single physical server with a VMware hypervisor running several virtual machines. With VMware NSX and Intel Security Move, it is no longer necessary to run traditional AV software on each of your guest VMs. Instead, AV and other security services can be offloaded to a single Intel Security Appliance. All that's required for protection is VMware NSX, VMware tools on your guest VMs, and Intel Security Move for the protection on your hosts. To set the stage, we have a test VM and the user will get a phishing email. We'll show what the VM looks like in vSphere before the attack. We'll show the attack happened and how it's blocked with McAfee Move, and then what happens after the attack. So as we get started, you'll see that we're in the vSphere web client and we're viewing the properties of the test VM. First thing we'll notice, it's powered on. We'll also notice that the guest OS is a Windows Server 2012 system. And we're going to scroll down and we want to look at the security group membership. We'll see that it's a member of the SG for McAfee Move, so it's getting the policy for McAfee Move. And then under security tags, you'll notice that there's no security tag currently applied. So after the attack, we're going to come back to the screen and we're going to see how the tagging has changed. We've now moved over to the test machine, the Windows 2012 machine that we've uh, been talking about. And you'll see that our user has logged into their webmail. And in their webmail, the first email they see is an email regarding an end of year bonus, which looks pretty legitimate. What the user doesn't realize is that this is a phishing email. Um, and there's a link in there to receive the latest company information, which the majority of users will click on this link. So let's do this and see what happens. When he clicks on this link, you're going to notice that it was a PDF from the bottom. It looks like it's coming from finance.vmware.com, uh, which is uh, basically a spoofed address. And it's actually trying to download a PDF. But you'll notice it doesn't even download because Move is actually blocking the download of this. Um, that's running over VMware tools, so we don't see any additional pop-ups. We don't need any additional agents. But if we look at downloads, you'll see that there's nothing in there yet because it's still trying to connect. And as time progresses, you're going to notice that this download will fail. Now the download has failed. If we click on the download link, again, still no downloads for this session because this download was blocked. Since we just saw the attack happen in our test VM, we're now turning our attention back to our management VM where we're looking at ePolicy Orchestrator, which is Intel Security's uh, security orchestration tool where policy is set for the move component and how actions are taken. Currently, we're looking at one of the dashboards showing the different threat events, things such as malware detected and access denied. But let's actually go look into the specifics around some of these threat events that just happened. Here's the one that just happened. Notice. We have an event that was captured at 1025, the malware was detected, and access is denied. If we go in and we look at the details of this, we'll see that it was based on the Move AV agentless product, version 361 is what we're running, and the host was actually NSX, that's the detecting host. And that's the interesting part. Remember, this is running over VMware tools, so there's no additional agents installed on our guest VM. And this is the cool part about it. So we'll say, you know, looking at the threat target file path, we see that it's a temp directory and it's a PDF.part. That means it's trying to be downloaded and it can't be downloaded because as the download happens, Move is detecting this as malware and is providing the access denied. And here's the event description. Malware has been detected and access denied, therefore being blocked from usage. So now we're going to go and turn our attention over to our vSphere client and get a better understanding of what happened in the tagging in the background. Now let's review how the VM was retagged because of this incident. And we'll turn our attention to vCenter. So you'll notice we're back in our management VM. We are in the vSphere web client. And we're looking at our test machine, which is the Windows Server 2012. Let's scroll down to the bottom. 
and we will see the group membership and security tags. You'll notice that some things have been added. We see that it's been added to the quarantine group and it also has an antivirus found tag. Now McAfee Move picked up a virus from that phishing email that we clicked on previously and added a tag to it, this antivirus found tag. From there, based on policy, the VM is now placed into our quarantine group, which will limit the functionality of this VM. And we'll go back to that VM and we'll look at how that functionality is limited. So now we're back on our user's test machine. And since our user has move agent list on his machine, he's not completely aware of the fact that he almost just downloaded malware. But his security tag change that we just saw has quarantined him. So next he tries to access his favorite website. And we're gonna open a new tab, go to www.yahoo.com. And you'll notice that he is redirected to the remediation page. From there, security administration can take the action necessary to validate that the users follow this proper protocol and remain safe on their network. In conclusion, you've just seen a brief demo of how your users can be protected in a virtual environment with VMware NSX and Intel Securities Move.